everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. We are back on the road. We just left Quartzsite and we're headed about 70 miles south of Quartzsite, which is Yuma. We're gonna go there and spend probably about a week by the lake, I believe. Um, and also I wanna do some shopping while I'm in Quartzsite, I'm sorry, Yuma, because it is a bigger town and they have three casinos there, but we're not going to stay at the casinos. They used to be free on freecampsites.net, but now they charge $10, I believe, a night, or they also do by the week or the month. But there's plenty of BLM around that area where you can stay for free, so that's what we're going to do. We've um, found a lakeside BLM spot, and it is actually where a lot of um, the people have went to, so hopefully we'll see some familiar faces there. We're passing the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge and Crystal Hills. There's not a lot out here. Well, actually there is. There's a lot of land out here. I've been this route several times. It's a nice drive. It is basically just straight to Yuma. It heads straight south, so. There are the proving grounds once you get closer to Yuma. I've been there before. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in seeing that video. Actually, I'll go ahead and put a card right here in the top corner if you want to check that out. Yeah, definitely a lot of land here goes on and on. <laughs> Signs coming up. Let's see. We're about 70 miles away from Yuma or, or where I'm going to. It says 73 miles to Yuma. Stone Cabin is 19. For the next 10 miles we are in a flash flood area. I guess uh, this area is really prone to flash floods. We just went through a wash there that definitely could get flooded. Luckily it doesn't rain that much in Arizona. We've just passed mile marker 90 going on 95 south and we just entered Yuma County. Like I said, there's not a lot out here. Just land. Definitely a nice place to come if you want to be all by your lonesome. I see one rig out there. Down this road to the right. Yeah, if you want to do the solo camping and don't want a lot of noise, then this is a perfect place for you. Whoa, that's a little wash right there. To the side of that, you can actually see water still left from the rains from a couple days ago. That's the thing about Arizona. When it rains, it does tend to flood. There, here's another wash, and there's rain left there, too. Yeah, that was several days ago, but the water's still there. Kofa National Wildlife Refuge, King Valley. There seems to be a couple of these, so Kofa National Wildlife Refuge must be pretty big. Maybe we'll hit that on the way back. We are 50 miles away from Yuma and 30 from the Proving Grounds. We're getting ready to pass a checkpoint. It's not going to Yuma, but on the way back. They have a checkpoint right here on the left-hand side. It's just one-way checkpoint. flowers on the side of the road just blooming everywhere big yellow bushes this are so pretty we're about 36 miles away from Yuma you can tell it just we just had rain because it seems kind of lush and green in certain areas I believe 
if I'm not mistaken, those are sage bushes that have the yellow flowers on them. They're everywhere. We're passing the proving grounds right now. Like I said, if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link at the top corner. That's also where the Imperial Dam is. Mick was nice enough to give, help me with the tour of the proving grounds since he is uh, a disabled vet. He knew a lot about um, the aircrafts and stuff there. So yeah, you can definitely check out that video if you want to. We are 19 miles away from Yuma. We're getting ready to go through these hills and there's a lot of farmland on the other side. Gun Range Academy. This is where the farmland starts. See, they have an orchard on one side and leafy greens on the other. I believe this is where the tainted lettuce came from. The romaine that got recalled was from the Yuma area. It's unfortunate. Yeah, there's a lot of farmland here. There's more farmland on the right. More green lush crops. Looks like they're starting over. Crops aren't that big yet. For sale, big huge RVs. Oh cool, look at the train on the left hand side. Sorry, I know the sun's right in my face, so in the windshield it's hard to see, I'm sure. It's a long train. Choo choo! all this farmland. It all looks like leafy greens. Nice. Yuma is 10 miles away, Summerton 21, and Mexico is 33 miles from this location. Right, Moo Moo? Mexico. You're part Chihuahua. They actually do grow a lot of crops here in Yuma, like artichokes, onions, broccoli, cauliflower, different kind of lettuces, and various herbs. Just past a produce stand, they do sell produce here on the side of the road as well. This actually looks like broccoli that they're growing here. Yeah, looks like it looks like they've harvested it too. Oh, we just passed the gas station. It said 2.59. That's not bad. Sure, it's not the cheapest in the country, but I've seen more expensive than that. I smell poo poo. Yeah, it smells like poo poo. Like <laughs> potted uh, vegetable. No, I think that's cow manure. But I mean, it could be. Um, rotting vegetables because I'm sure they compost them. Or I wonder if they dig it back into the ground. It looks so green here. Yeah, it smells like that my compost would smell like. Right. Yeah, I know. It does look nice and green. Yummy. Oh, you were the like that. That was head lettuce. Oh, uh, was that head lettuce? Yeah. 
But the big ones back there, they were cauliflower, like they were all ready to pick. Nice. All right, well, we've made it into Yuma, and we're about a mile and a half away from Walmart. We're gonna stop there because I need to grab some supplies. Um, we might go to the casino, but they do charge Continue there. Pacific Avenue for one and a half miles. Thanks, Bev. But like I said, they do charge there, so I don't think we'll be staying the night there. Alright, we've made it to the Walmart. Oh, this is the bad one. Oopsie. Although the Eat Asian Super Buffet is right across the street. I love that place. But this is the one. The last time we came to it, I think they were RV friendly, but they had the, um, those police... Turn right, then turn left. Thanks, I'm here, Bev. Okay, um, they had those police things here. I think I went to the wrong one. This is the bad one that has the police things outside. I don't see them anymore, though. Uh, this is the one where that guy hit that guy's car and then just took off. I don't think we should be here. All right, well, okay. Where do you want to go? I thought we were going to the other one. Yeah, I thought I was going to the other one, too, but, um, I, I mean, when I'm looking on the map, there's, like, three or four Walmarts, so it's kind of hard to figure out exactly which one is the good one. Yeah, I get that. I'll have to look at the GPS. There's like three RVs here, so, I mean, but, and they don't have the police things out anymore. I mean, I don't care where we go. Walmart, Yuma. Here's a matching video. No. Walmart, Yuma. That um, great Chinese or that um, Asian buffet is right across the street, though. <laughs> Didn't we go to an Asian buffet here? Yeah, that's the one that's right across the street, the really good one. It was good. Yeah, they have awesome sushi. Okay, what do we, you want to just stay here then right now? Yeah, it's still daylight, so we can stay here for a little bit. If we decide we want to go eat, we can, and then head over to the casino. I guess I can show, I, like I said, I just have to pick up some stuff in here. I don't know where we'll stay tonight, but we can head over to the casino after this. Okay, well, we're going to figure things out. We ended up eating at the Eats Asian Buffet. The food there is so yummy. I just loved eating there. They have great sushi. There's a, a bar just specifically sushi. It's a, a wonderful place if you're ever in Yuma to eat. It's called Eats Asian Buffet. Anyways, none of the Walmarts here in Yuma are RV friendly. And like I said, there is BLM here, but we wanted to kind of stay central in town for a day or two because we want to do some shopping. I have to pick up some stuff. I need to go to Best Buy. So the only place that we found that was RV friendly was Crackle Barrel and that's where we're staying now. It is right by the interstate but it is, as you can hear, it's pretty quiet. I mean you don't hear too much traffic noise. Just every once in a while something goes by but when I'm in a rig I don't really hear anything. I'm gonna take Mumu for a walk and then tomorrow we're going to go to the lake and uh, after we do our shopping and stuff tomorrow we're going to go to the lake blm spot and i'm excited to go there i heard there are a lot of people hanging out there oh and look at these cool glasses that i picked up <laughs> aren't those funky i think there's different modes hold on oh where's the button oops there it goes <laughs> All right, everybody, I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Moo moo. <laughs> Say goodnight. Good night. Good night, everybody. <laughs>